We are at the DEF CON 30 Biohacking Village CTF, which is going on, and unlike any other CTF, you're not breaking into networks or web servers or anything like that. You're doing biohacking. Can you tell me a little bit more about the CTF? So the CTF is really built for um, both sides of uh, our village, so that it would be the healthcare part and the cybersecurity part. And we really want them to get together, so we level the knowledge and then we build it. But it's also, we're not exactly breaking into things, but we are doing anything from uh, non-technical challenges, so that could be learning about misinformation and disinformation in healthcare, which then affects your um, decision making about your health and others. But it, we then have mobile challenges because there are COVID uh, apps. We are talking about reverse engineering uh, of a hospital. So the whole theme is called hospital heist. So hospital gets attacked and we bring people to look at what's happening in the hospital and trying to find what's happening. And it goes all the way through um, reverse engineering, but also we have our open source pulse oximeter that people uh, engage with. We have our own little dark web. Uh, so we teach people how it looks like in healthcare and and whatever is being stolen and sold on a, on a dark web, all the way through to hacking through infusion pumps. Oh, wow. Now, you said something about like learning about dis disinformation in healthcare. Can you give me an example of something that you would learn about here, about that? Well, pretty much, um, I think the, the biggest example would be uh, COVID. So there was uh, lots of misinformation, disinformation. So we are trying to teach people how to have better knowledge and understanding of not only the terms that we are using, but also how does it look like and how to deal with it. So how if you're someone that you know uh, comes with something that you already know that is a misinformation, disinformation, how to talk to them, how to change their mind, because it's often very, very difficult. So it's one of those. Um, but people are also sharing with us. It's a, we're trying to have a two-way conversation about um, what would they do if, if something like this happens to them. Uh, I think our CTF is also really focused on the learning. So we have our Discord where we have a support team that always helps people to um, put them on the right path and talk to them. And because we really don't, it's not uh, one of those that where we drop people into it and you do something and we leave you to it. Here we really talk to people all the way through um, solving all these challenges. Okay, man, that is a, it's a lot of information. And what's interesting about this is like, it sounds like a core of the CTF is better communication skills. Mm -hmm. Being able to talk with people, being able to empathize with them, knowing what their struggle is, and then trying to work through that communication. And I think oftentimes other CTFs, we worry about like the technical aspects of hacking and not really what might amount to the more important side of things. Would you agree like that is communication almost more important than the technical things? Because in my opinion. I would say it is. I definitely come uh, one of uh, parts of my background is social engineering. So I think the human human element in, in, in it is especially in healthcare very, very important. But for us, it's uh, you're right in a way that we are uh, running the CTF uh, also for uh, physicians and nurses. And here the communication about the technical aspects is really, really important. So it's definitely at the core of, of what we are doing. But the technical side of it, it's there too, because at the end of the day, we are trying to teach people that a hospital environment is very complex. And it's anything, we are talking about ICS, industrial control systems, it's HVAC, or we are talking about mobile challenges. We have a POS a, a, a payment systems in there. Uh, so it's very, very, it's almost anything that you can think of, you find it in a hospital. So that's what we are trying to uh, teach people, to show them uh, walking away afterwards to, under, to have this sort of understanding. And I know disaster recovery is significantly different within a hospital versus a corporation. A corporation, you go, okay, these are the, here's the critical aspects where like these, within a hospital, things like AC all of a sudden becomes lives mm -hmm. where in a corporation, eh, not so much. Indeed, indeed. Unless it's maybe in the server room and either way. Point being, it's very clear different identifying risks mm. at a hospital. I imagine a lot of that technology too isn't built with, here is what the ideal hospital is, but 
hospitals start small and they grow and grow and grow. And then there's other, there's different practices in hospitals which complicate the networks even more. It, this whole, this is the first time I've been in this village and what's crazy about it is that there's not just one village with, or there's biohacking, but there's biohacking labs, there's biohacking talks and the biohacking capture the flag. This has been fascinating hearing that this is a communication, it's a learning one. I love hearing about these learning challenges. So Sharka, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for sharing. I know you have to get back to Discord. Thanks for watching. And as always, hack on.